Hello again, and this is Kingdom Influence. Uh, today, I will uh, want to talk about, um, you know, holding on to what God has placed in our hearts. Just hold on to what God has placed in your heart. Uh, I think that's very important. Actually, I was looking in the book of Nehemiah, uh, Nehemiah um, 2 and 12. It reads, and I'm reading in the King James Version, When I rose in the night, and I, and I and some few men with me, um, neither told I any man what my God had put in my heart to do at Jerusalem. Neither was there any beast with me, save the beast that I rode upon. I wanted to read that chapter so you can hear the part. He said he didn't tell anybody what God had placed in his heart. Listen, uh, teachers, uh, sometimes the things have been placed in our hearts and we talk it, you know, we talk it. And we talk it to people we think are well-meaning, but they're really not the right people to tell it to. Sometimes when God places things in your heart, you know, something to do, um, something new to start to begin with, you don't need to tell anyone. You need to hold that in. You know, and Nehemiah held it in his heart. And uh, when it was time to tell it, he felt it was time to tell it. He told it um, to Sam Bollard. You know, he told it to Sam Bollard. He told it to Tobiah, um, Tobias, and um, they laughed at him. And <laughs> that's in Nehemiah 2, and I think that one's us verse 19. They laughed at him. So sometimes we need to hold some things in our heart and not reveal them to anyone else um, and just do what we're supposed to do because the, the well-meaning people we think uh, we need to tell, they're going to, you know, laugh about, at us, talk behind our backs, and then it discourages us from doing what God has placed in our hearts. So today, just hold on to what God has placed in your heart to do. Uh, just don't don't discuss it with anyone. Just hang in, hang on there and, and do it. Uh, Father, I thank you right now for this morning. I thank you for your grace. Your grace is sufficient for us. Your grace and your favor has kept us all these days in the school years year. And I thank you for that right now. I thank you for your word, Nehemiah. Um, that there's some things that you place in our heart. And God, we promise that we're not going to talk it. We're going to keep it in our heart. And we're going to do what you call us to do. And even if some of us have talked it already, Father God, and, and our friends laughed at us and, and talked behind our backs about it, it's okay. We're going to still go ahead and do it. So I pray, pray the spirit of Nehemiah over teachers right now. To hold the thing that God has placed in our hearts, in our hearts. To do what God has called us to do in Jerusalem. And to do it with all our might. To stay on the wall. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. So, um, once God plays something in your heart, like sometimes, it, it, you know, just hold on to it. Just, just hold on to it. Just, that's the best thing for most of us. All right, so to teach us to learn, to learn is to grow, and to grow is to become so much better, not just for ourselves, but for people around the world to influence others. Have a great teaching day. God bless you.